Chapter 3, Molecules, Compounds, and Chemical Equations. This word begins to seem a little more like chemistry and a little less like math class. Let's think about this. How many different substances exist? Remember that when a chemist says substance, we mean um, an individual, a specific kind of matter. Well, there's, there's 91 naturally occurring elements, and so those are basically the building blocks. And from those building blocks, you can create, or there exists, almost a limitless number of combinations. Each of those compounds has their own properties. And so we're going to be looking at how those atoms combine and what sorts of compounds they make. The, the vast diversity in, in substances that we observe, like the difference between glass and plastic and rubber and, and explosive gases, um, is all a direct result of the ability of elements to form compounds. So let's look at um, hydrogen and oxygen forming water. So this, this table um, gives some properties of hydrogen, oxygen, and water. Hydrogen and oxygen are both gases at room temperature. Um, their boiling points are well below zero in degrees Celsius. Um, hydrogen gas is explosive. Oxygen gas does not itself burn, but is necessary for combustion. And in the presence of oxygen, there are lots and lots and lots of things that will burn. When those two elements are combined in the compound we call water, the boiling point changes dramatically. It is now plus 100 degrees Celsius. It's a liquid at room temperature. And not only is water not flammable, we use it to extinguish flames. And so when you combine two elements, their properties uh, change dramatically. You've got a completely new substance that forms. Um, if we have a mixture of hydrogen and oxygen, that's going to be very different than a compound because a mixture can have any proportions of hydrogen and oxygen gas, whereas water has a definite proportion. We studied that law of definite proportions. Always in water, we have two hydrogen atoms to one oxygen atom. And if we look at an illustration of this, here's a balloon containing a mixture of hydrogen and oxygen gases. If you um, touch a, a flame to this, it's going to make a large noise, kaboom, and it might even lift the ceiling tiles a little bit. The mixture of hydrogen and oxygen gas is extremely flammable. In this mixture, we see that there are two different kinds of particles. There's hydrogen molecules and oxygen molecules, and we could add some more hydrogen. We could add more oxygen. We can vary the proportions. In this glass of water, this is a compound. All of the particles are identical. There are these little Mickey Mouse heads um, with the, uh, one oxygen and two hydrogens. They're all the same. And the proportions of hydrogen to oxygen are fixed. They're definite. They cannot be changed. So that is uh, really one of the essential differences between a mixture and a compound. Any questions?